Mining is really one of the last vestiges of the American dream. If you're smart, if you work hard, you might make something big. out of what looks like a piece of rock. Nine thousand feet up in Bear Gulch, Montana, veteran miners, the Dale brothers, are about to make a breakthrough. Oh, hold it, hold it. Hey, there's the hole. Look at that. Holy They've just found a mine tunnel that hasn't seen the light of day in decades. The posts, the caps, the sides, the girts, look at Outstanding. <laughs> so there's no doubt, this is number five. The mystery that we're gonna solve is in here. Opening up the Pete and Joe number five mine is a goal the Dales have pursued for generations. According to family legend, a century ago, a Norwegian miner named Oli Fosnes found a gold vein in this mine worth millions. God. He hid it from his partner so he could take it all for himself. But fate had other plans. Oli died before he had an opportunity to go back on his own and, and get that. But he told my granddad about it. Well, that's encouraging. Holy cow. We've heard that story, and there it is. A little bit more, we'll actually see a tunnel. Well, it's, it's damned exciting. This is history here, boy. Hi. Nobody home, yet I will be merry. I, I will be nobody home. I Pass the whiskey, bartender. <laughs> there you go. Good. Well, here's to future success. Hey, yeah, here's to. Rick, John, Tad, Paul, and Kit Dale are breathing a little easier with today's victory. Finding the portal of the Pete and Joe Number no. Five Mine is a critical step toward turning an all-in gamble into a payoff worth millions. After spending their lives working for mining companies around the world, they've come home to go into business for themselves in the high Montana wilderness where they grew up. Bear Gulch, carved in the shadow of a 10,000 foot peak in the Tobacco Root Mountains, Bear Gulch was once the site of a Gilded Age gold boom, but these mines have been abandoned since the 1930s. The Dales pooled their life savings and bought all of the claims here to corner the market on a gold structure worth millions that they think the old timers missed. But reaching it will take a full scale mining operation and they need to come up with $500,000 in startup capital. They're counting on finding Oldie's gold vein to fund the operation and fulfill a dream passed down through the generations. And one of the biggest things to me is knowing that dad and the other, and Gramp and others believed so firmly in this, we have the opportunity to validate what their they believe. belief yeah, in absolutely. this. Absolutely, it's a family heritage thing. We owe it to them to kick this to the end, and especially Oli's, we gotta find where that's... That's the one thing, That's yeah. the story that we were told. Well, here's to sitting around and listen to Dad and 
If we couldn't go back and visit that table again, that oh, would be boy. Boy. something. I think I'm good. done for this evening. Yeah, we'll <laughs> save this for another night. Get to our tents and go to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, who's, who's, cook the who's cooking breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> Back at the work site, the Dales contractor, Marty Saluso, gets an early start clearing out the Pete and Joe number five mine. What do you think, boss? I think it looks pretty damn nice, Marty. I'm excited to dig it out and see if that's where the tunnel is we've been talking yeah. about, everybody. Well, I'm betting that's between 50, 56 and 75 feet. I'll there. take that bet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this thing digging. I want to see Oli's hole. If the stories are right, the Dales are just 65 feet away from Oli's gold. But to reach it, they'll have to dig out and rehabilitate the tunnel. The next step is to get our, our portal set established. Portal set is made out of timbers. Portal means that it's at the opening of the mine. Once you get farther in the mine, it's just a set, a timber set. A set is basically four posts and caps, a roof across it to make sure that everything doesn't slide in on you. They need high quality timber for the sets and John knows where to find it. I've been coming into this forest since uh, I was a child. This timber area is just below the Pete and Joe mine that we're gonna be cutting timber for. Got a little lake down here that we fished in and we'll be able to get what we need for the portal out of here. I was born in Sheridan, Montana in June of 1949, the second in the family. My childhood was centered around Bear Gulch. And by that time, the 1950s, the mines and the, all the old buildings were still intact, but they were deteriorating. We just kind of went off on our own and, and explored mines and explored buildings. And uh, a lot of the old mines were, were forts for us, and there wasn't anyone there to tell you you couldn't do something or you shouldn't be in there. For a kid, it was uh, a different kind of Disneyland. The value of looking at the timber here is that this is on our own property and it uh, doesn't require any permitting to cut this lumber and, and it's just good stewardship on our part to, to harvest some of these logs and clear it out a little bit so the younger timber can grow and it gives me a good feeling that we can pass this on to the next generation. This one right here, this is the log that we need. on this one. Tad, are you out there? Yeah, copy that. I've got a log that's uh, too big to handle. Okay, well, I'll be down there in just a few minutes. I'm not too far from you. John, do you need any help? Well, actually, this is probably a four-man job. What if we strung a chain between these two trees right here, and we could hang the snatch block off it? and just lift that right into the trailer. That sounds like a great idea to me. Glad you had all these chains. Yeah. 
You guys usually make fun of me for having too much stuff. Yeah. I know, but... And I might have too much stuff. MacGyver's toolbox. <laughs> Here we go. While Rick, John, Tad, and Kit gained steam on the portal set project, up at the work site, second youngest brother Paul and contractor Marty pushed deeper into the entrance of the Pete and Joe number five mine. The entrance was buried by a landslide years ago, but they expect the rest of the tunnel is in usable condition and they only need to clear a few more feet of rubble to reach it. Once they do, it's just a 60 foot walk to Oli's gold vein on uh, number five. We're digging right in on the portal. We're making good progress. But progress brings new challenges. We're into the rock. And then I'll go back in and I'll get that tree out of there. Yeah. It'll fall on top of me if I don't, yeah. This tree is precariously perched on the bank above the dig site and needs to go. But they want to leave its roots in place to hold the soil together. So Marty turns his bucket into a scalpel. Yeah, the tree's going to go. So. I say good job. Whoa, 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 whoa. That don't look good. It's leaking fluid there somewhere. It's like it's smoking. You said yeah, like it was there's fluid running down the, it's running from up here. Well, let me go rev it up and I'll just crowd this down here tight. Oh, holy Whole damn bank came in. See, still coming. Man. Mama said there'd be days like this. 